Listen. Black people's actions are the result of the system of white supremacy, period. I'm going to say that again. Everything that black people do on this planet is the result of the system of white supremacy. Now, and we have been carefully trained. Trained by whom? By the white supremacists. To be people who are in their behavior tacky, trashy, and are terroristic. They have made us into people who are non-constructive in just about everything that we do so that so-called black culture is just as rotten as it can be. This thing that we say we are so proud of, we are as crazy as any people can possibly be here in 2019 worldwide. We are absolutely insane to the maximum degree. And we have been insane for so long, we don't even recognize it as being insane. Walking around grinning and celebrating and, and, and showing off. And we are absolutely, we are nowhere near the quality of people that any people should ever be. We should try to be ultimately what? According to the code, universal man and universal woman in tune with the best that there is the most constructive activity in the known universe. We're nowhere near that. So all of our behavior is stupid, rotten, tragic, even when we think that we are at our very best. It's a mess. We're just that messed up. Compared to what? Compared to the way that we ought to be compared to the way that all people should be. Everybody, white, non-white, nowhere near are we qualified to do any bragging about anything. That's why I say that here on the air and in the textbook and whatnot. One of the ugliest things that a black person can do is celebrate anything. We don't have anything to celebrate. We're too backward. We're completely out of it. And we don't even recognize it. But it's not our fault. Because we were born in a sewer of non-constructive activity. And so all of our tattoos and hairdos and this gets crazier and crazier. Hmm. I mean, we are walking around, I mean, just a, just a whole bunch of uh, uh, rotten junk, really. Compared to what? Compared to the way that we should be. Mm-hmm. Well, the most problem-solving, advanced people that the world has ever seen. That's what we should be. Well, it comes down to action. Everything in codification is about thought, speech, and action. Now, when you come out of the hair salon, that's males and females, what do you expect the constructive result to be of what you just did when you went in there? and got done what was done, and you come out. Now, what do you expect? This is something you wanted to do. See, it gets back to these four wants, mm-hmm. of the, four th- uh, of the four things that pertain to wants, yes, W-A-N-T-S. Sir. All right, you wanted to go into a place called a hair salon, male or female, all right? So you went in and got done what you went in there to do. Now, when you come out and people look at you, because evidently you intend for people to look at you. That's why you did it. Oh, yes. You know, I want people to look at me. So it comes down to one central thing. Once people look at you, what is supposed to be their constructive reaction to you doing what you did? You got this. You say you got your hair done, or your nails done, or your feet done, whatever it is you're trying to show off to someone who you want to do what? 
look at me. Hey, y'all, look at me. Stop what y'all doing and look at me. That's really what you're saying. That's why you went in there and came out looking different from why you went in, okay? All right, see, this is pure science. Codification is about not taking no prisoners, looking at everything exactly the way that it is, and stop lying to yourself and lying to other people. No, you went in there with the intention of getting something that when you come out, you would look different from the way that you went in. Otherwise, why go in? So you came in. You came out looking different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, so far so good. Okay. So everybody's looking at you. Now, what do you expect the constructive result to be of all the people who stopped to take a look at this super wonder that just came out of that salon? Oh, look at that. Look at her. Look at him. Look at it. Whatever it is, whatever impression you're trying to convey. And this is real important, folks. Convey to whom? Who are you doing this for? In order to attract attention, in order for what to happen as a result. Because you want something special to happen now. You didn't do all of that just for everything to just go about being the same. You want an, what, improvement over your condition. Now, who's going to provide that improvement based on how you look? That's what you should be thinking about. Black people's actions are the result of the system of white supremacy, period. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented, and that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus, because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons, that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever. 